Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to configure uh, Palo Alto Cloud Identity Engine with uh, Azure. So first uh, I'm going to show you just a basic uh, topology I have where uh, once we configure the, you know, the Cloud Identity Engine uh, we can test the authentication with uh, Global Protect. Uh, it's just simple, simple topology. You can see I have one Palo Alto and then two Windows machines. So, first thing that you need to do is um, go to your Cloud Identity Engine uh, hub and go to SP Metadata and configure uh, and download the uh, metadata information. Uh, is this file here? Active, uh, Azure. Active Directory and click on Enterprise uh, Application. So you can click New Application and search for Palo Alto and choose Palo Alto Network Cloud Identity Engine uh, Authentication Service. So click here, click Create. So you're going to have to install the application. It might take a few seconds to load. Okay, once this is downloaded, all you have to do is click on single sign on, SAML, upload metadata file, and then upload the file you just uh, downloaded in the previous step click Add and here all you going to need to do is to have your region so in my situation I'm UK which is uh, previewed already once you upload the metadata file so copy this and uh, paste it here so make sure this is the same uh, and save it Once you do this, uh, you can go and your users and group. You can create uh, here usually a way you have to, you know, choose the uh, users or groups that one that you want to authenticate uh, later on. So for the testing purpose, I have a just a you know, simple test uh, user which I created earlier, and I'm going to add this user to that group. So go back to single sign-on and what you need here, you need to copy this App Federation metadata URL. So click on copy and you can go to Cloud Identity Agent, click on Authentication Type, click here. So you can have two options, you can have a, a SAML or you can have a, a client certificate. You can have both options as well if you want to. Uh, for the today demonstration, I'm going to only do SAML. Then I'll do next another video where I can show you how to do client certificate as well. So if you click here, set up, choose a profile name. You can choose, you can call it uh, Azure Profile. Select vendor. You can choose Azure. Get URL, and here you can paste the URL you just uh, copy from from the previous step. Clicking get URL. I leave this as default. If you if you're using multi-factor authentication enabled, you have to uh, tick this and click on test SAML. Uh, obviously I have my user here which I'm testing. You can see test is being done uh, successful. There's another step uh, final which you have to do here. You have to do how do you want to uh, read your user. So you have different options. If you put your name, you can see. So I'm going to use this option where I can <coughs> add my um, email to do. And click Submit. Once you do this, then you have to go next step is click Authentication Profile. Click here. Uh, choose a profile. 
can call it show profile uh, authentication method is single so if you if you want to use only SAML you have to choose single if you want to use a uh, SAML plus certificates then you have to uh, choose um, uh, multiple in this situation we use a single so we click on single uh, you choosing authentication one and we use okay we have this one here uh, so you do authentication user profile and just do one s uh, do this and submit once you have this done uh, everything is ready so configuration has been done you can see uh, very quick and easy uh, then you go to, uh, to the firewall this is my firewall which I have uh, for a demonstration purpose I can show you I have this PC uh, this firewall is already pre-configured with Global Protect at the moment but has uh, it's been configured with the local authentication so I'm going to uh, so as you can see now, I'm going to connect uh, and we'll uh, use uh, local authentic authentication to connect to the global text. So you can see it's working. See, it's been connected. The IP address that is taken is 2020.2. It's IPsec. Uh, it's the username, which is local. So we can uh, disconnect now. Okay, so if you go into the firewall, all you need to do is go to device authentication profile. Uh, let's see, CID profile. Choose cloud authentication service. You can choose UK, CID Azure profile. Here you can choose all, and basically that's it. A very important thing is, uh, before you do this configuration, make sure that you have a device certificate uh, configured, otherwise uh, you wouldn't be able to connect to uh, the CIE. So we have our profile configured and the next step is just to do Global Protect, so we can go portal Global Protect Authentication. Let's have another one. You can see CIE Authentication. Here, choose the profile. Click here. So you can do yes. move up so we we want this one to be the first option we we, we have uh, leave everything as it is uh, then we have to do same thing on the gateway as well so do this to the top and we can commit uh, there's another thing which I forgot to do uh, very important if you want see how it work uh, you need to go to uh, global protect portal agent go to application section where you need to have a uh, Use single sign-on with no Windows should be uh, choose to know, and you have you need to have mm, use default browser for some authentication uh, should be yes.
it has been successful. Uh, let's test uh, our connection. So first time when I try now to connect, um, we're gonna get error because of uh, Global Protect needs to download the uh, update of the configuration file. Okay. Uh, that was okay. That was probably connecting with the local authentication, as you can see. So I need to uh, sign out. Oh, let's try again. Okay, that's look okay. Is there another one? To click here. Okay, you can see it's been connected. If we check here, you can see we have our uh, test user connecting to to Global Protect, and we've been successfully uh, connected. Also, you can check uh, on the firewall. If you go gateway, check remote users, so you can see uh, our test user connected. the firewall uh, using a cloud identity agent uh, thank you very much that was uh, the whole thing uh, and see you the next time